Good evening guys and welcome again to my channel. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe out there. Today what I wanted to do for you guys is to make you, show you how to make a delicious vegetarian dish guys, okay? And um, let's get started. So what I'm making here today is something called dal rice with some spinach, pumpkin, corilla and um, okra. Okay guys, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to start showing you how to make this. And this is something that we make a lot in the Caribbean, guys. Okay, so over here, if you notice, I have my pumpkin, I have my corilla, guys, which um, some country do call it bitter melon. So I have my corilla um, cut up here. Also, I have my okra, and I have my spinach, which is a, um, which is a combination of kale, um, poi, and... Um, baby spinach guys okay and I also have some pok choy so it's four different types of spinach it's kale baby spinach um, poi and pok choy and here I have my split peas which I went ahead and washed a cup and a half and this is what I'm going to be making my doll with okay guys so these are all my ingredients that I'm going to be um, cooking today so I'm making doll rice spinach pumpkin okra and corilla guys okay in my dish over here I have my garnishing, which I have garlic, onions, um, tomatoes, and some chili pepper, guys. And in my other dish over here, because there's a lot of food I'm making, guys, so I have some extra onion cut up here, and I also have a couple of bundles of scallions, guys, okay? So, first of all, what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start making my doll, guys, okay? And then we'll go with the vegetables, so... Um, let's start with our doll here. So in my pot over here guys, I have um, two teaspoon of um, oil heating here in my pot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start showing you how to make the, um, the doll now guys, okay? Okay guys, so in my pot here I have two teaspoon of oil which I'm preheating here so I could start making my doll, okay? Okay guys, so my oil is heated there, so what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and add some garlic to my oil here guys, just a little bit of garlic, and I'm going to give this a toss, and I just want my garlic to flavor my oil here guys, okay, you're not going to burn your garlic, you're just going to toss it around for about a minute or so, and to my garlic here, I am going to go ahead and I am going to add my split peas. Which I pre-washed. So this is a cup and a half of split peas guys. And I am going to add a teaspoon of um, brown jira, or some of us know it as cumin. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of brown jira here, guys. And a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a cut. And you're going to let this fry, guys, for about four minutes. You're going to let this fry with the oil, the garlic, the brown jeera. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add a teaspoon of um, turmeric guys to my doll here. I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon and I am going to give this a toss and turmeric is very good for you guys. There's a lot of benefits in turmeric and it actually gives the doll a really nice taste. So I'm going to let this fry for about another minute or so. Ok 
Okay guys, so my split peas been frying here now with my turmeric, my garlic, and my um, brown jeera or cumin. It's been frying now for the past five minutes. So I am going to go ahead and add two cups of hot water. And I'm going to get this across. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add um, a habanero pepper, but this is optional. You don't have to do that, but our Caribbean people love spicy food, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to my dog. And what you're going to do now, guys, you're going to go ahead and you're going to let this boil for about 20 to 25 minutes until the, everything is melted, guys, okay? You're going to go ahead and put this to boil for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, and you're gonna cover it and let it boil on slow heat, guys, until it's completely melted. And that's when you're, um, we're gonna go to the next step, okay, guys? So what I'm gonna do, I am going to go ahead and put this on the other burner so I can start with my vegetable, guys, okay? So bear with me. Okay, guys, so now I am going to go ahead while my doll is um, boiling away on the next burner there. I am going to go ahead and start making my vegetables. So now the first vegetables I'm gonna start making here, guys, is my um, corilla or some of us know it as bitter melon um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start frying my corilla okay guys and what I'm um, in my pot here I have two tablespoons of olive oil that's heating up here so I'm gonna let that heat up um, until it's completely hot and then I'll show you step by step how I start making my vegetables guys okay okay guys so my oil is pretty hot here so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and add my onions and my garlic. Okay, I'm going to give this a toss. And I'm going to let this onion, garlic and chili pepper Saute it for about two to three minutes. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give this a toss here and it's cooking up nicely here. I'm gonna give it another minute or so. Guys, and bitter melon in, um, or corilla as we know it as um, in Guyana or in the Caribbean, it, it's a very good vegetable, guys. It's great in vitamins, all different types of vitamins. Um, in another video, I'm going to go ahead and list the benefits of this vegetable, guys. It's really good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my corilla into my pot here, guys. To my corilla, I'm going to add some black pepper, not a lot, just a little, about a quarter of a teaspoon. And this is optional, guys. You don't have to put that. That is optional. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. And you can always taste for salt, guys, okay? And a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a toss. guys you're going to um, leave this open until it's golden brown until it's dry golden brown so there's no need to cover this you just leave it open and it's dry golden brown guys so while while my corilla is frying guys I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on the other burner so I could start another vegetables here guys because this is gonna take a little while to fry to get golden brown okay so I'm going to go ahead, put it on the other burner, and then I'll show you how to start another vegetable here, okay guys? So bear with me. Okay guys, so my doll is on, on the um, other burner, and I have my corilla, which is frying there nicely. Frying there. 
on the next burner, right in front of my doll. Over here, I have some oil that is heating, and I'm going to go ahead and start frying my okra. Here, guys. And I have two pounds of okra hair that I went ahead and I cut up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start frying that as soon as my oil is heated. So I have two tablespoons of oil heating in my pan right now. So right now, guys, we have three things going here. We have our doll going, we have our corolla going, or the bit of middle, whatever you call it. And now I'm going to start another um, dish, which is okra. Okay? Okay, so my oil is pretty heated here, so I am going to go ahead... And I'm going to add some garlic, chili pepper, and the onions to my pot here. So into my pot here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic. Onions and chili pepper. Give this a sauce. Let it fry and marinate into the oil for about a minute or two. And my scallions and my tomato guys, I will be adding last to the dish because I don't want to add that in the beginning. I want to add that last to the dish. Okay guys? I am going to go over to my corolla here and I'm going to give it a toss. And it's cooking up nicely here guys. This has to fry golden brown. Looking really good. So I'm going to let that continue to fry. My doll is cooking up nicely there. Okay guys, so to my onion and my garlic and chili pepper here, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to add my okra. And I am not going to put any salt to my okra right now guys because okra is a kind of slimy vegetable and you don't want to put your salt too early. And um, there is a couple of ways to get rid of the slime. Um, you could add a teaspoon of vinegar while you fry in your okra. Or you could take the seeds out of the okra. You could cut it and take the seeds out. And the next thing you could do is add your salt last to the okra, guys. Okay? So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this okra continue to fry here, guys. And at the end of my okra, that's when I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to add my salt, guys. So I'm not going to put any salt right now. So I'm going to let this okra fry with my onion, my garlic, and my chili pepper. I'm going to let that fry until it's golden brown. And you're not going to cover your okra, guys. You're going to leave it open. You're going to fry your vegetable here open. Because you don't want it to lose any more water to make it more slimy guys okay so you're gonna fry this open and you're gonna fry your okra guys and your bitter melon or your corolla on high heat okay so now we have three things going we have our doll we have our corolla and we have our okra okay i'm gonna add some black pepper here not a lot guys, and this is optional, depends on how spicy you want your food to be. And I am going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a toss.
Also, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to give my primer across here. I'm going to fuck it up nicely, guys. I'm gonna let that continue to fry until it's golden brown. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get my okra across here. This is coming along very well. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check on my okra now. I'm gonna get it across. Okay, and it's coming along really nice here guys. And you can fry your okra as light as you want guys, or as dark as you like. My family likes it a little brown, so I'm going to fry it first. And my coral is over there frying up nicely too guys. And I have my dog boiling away there. But everything is coming along. As soon as I finish my two vegetables here, I'm going to start with my spinach and my pumpkin guys. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check in my okra. Looking really good. I'm going to let it fry for another two to three minutes before I add my salt and my tomatoes. And I'm also going to go ahead and check on the coriander. We're just frying up nicely here too, guys. Okay, guys, at this point now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt to my okra here, guys. I'm going to give this a toss. Try really nicely, guys. Really nicely. Just need like about two to three minutes more before I add my tomatoes. Okay, guys. So at this point to my okra here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of scallion. And I'm going to give this a quick toss. So both, um, both of my vegetables here is frying up nicely. So at this point now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some tomatoes to my okra here. And I'm also going to add some tomatoes to my corral over here. Also, I'm going to add some scallion to my coriander. Also, a sauce with my tomatoes. So you're going to let this saute, guys, for about another minute or so. Then you'll take it off the heat. You don't want to mash or mince your tomatoes. And over here, I am going to give my coriander a toss. And the same you're going to do over here, guys. 
in another minute or so, I'm going to take this one off too. Trying up really nicely there, guys. Okay, guys, so my okra is finished. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pan my stove off. And I'm going to remove it from my pot here, guys. So I'm going to pan my stove off here. And I'm going to pour this into a dish. So I can start my other vegetable styles. So there you have it guys, my fried okra with tomatoes, scallion and onion guys, there you have it. So one of my vegetables is completely finished here guys, so there you have it. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to check on my pariah guys over here. Guys, my pan I need like about a minute more, so I'm gonna let that continue to fry. Okay, guys, so into my pot here now. I have two teaspoons of olive oil going. So my next vegetable I'm gonna start cooking is my pumpkin, guys. Okay, which I have washed and cut up here, guys. Okay, so this is about two pounds of pumpkin, guys. So that is my next next dish I'm gonna be making here, guys. Okay guys, I'm going to check on my pariah here. This is completely finished, so I'm going to go ahead and place this into a dish so I can start my next pumpkin here too guys. So here you have it guys, my fried pariah with tomatoes, onions and scallion. There you have it, nicely fried golden brown. So this is my second vegetable that's finished here guys. So next what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and start with my spinach and my pumpkin guys, okay? Okay guys, so my oil is pretty hot now. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to start with my pumpkin. Which I will be adding my onions. And my garlic and my chili pepper guys so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this across and I'm gonna let this saute for about a minute or two so my garlic, my onion, and my chili pepper to so marinate a little into the oil. And over in my next pot here guys, I have 2 teaspoons of olive oil heating, which I'm going to go ahead and start my spinach. Okay, I'm going to give this a toss. Okay guys, so my onion, I am going to go ahead and add my pumpkin. Some black pepper. A garlic powder. of salt guys I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this a cloth And 
I'm going to cover my top and let that cook until my top can extend it. I'm going to let that cook until my pumpkin is tender. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to put my um, pumpkin on the other burner and I'm going to start my spinach on this burner here. Okay guys, so into my pan here, I am going to go ahead and start with my spinach, which I'm going to be adding one whole onion. Some scallion. My chili pepper and my garlic. I'm going to give this a sauce. for about a minute or so. Marinate into the oil a little. And over here guys, I have my spinach, which I went ahead and cut up and washed and cut up. I have my baby spinach, my kale, and my pop choy, also with my poi bhaji. Okay guys? So this is what I'm going to be cooking my spinach with. Um, Whenever you're cooking spinach, guys, don't be afraid to mix your spinach. Mix it with different types of variety of spinach, okay? It's very delicious. I always like to mix my spinach. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my spinach to my pot here, guys. And always make sure to wash your spinach about two to three times, guys, because it can have a lot of sand and particles in it. So always wash your spinach a couple of times. So I'm going to give this a sauce, guys. I spinach it doesn't take long to cook, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check on my spinach here, which is cooking up nicely, guys. So at this point, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to give this a toss. And spinach, guys, you only have to cook spinach for about five to six minutes, guys, okay? You don't want to cook your spinach too long. So spinach you just cook about five to six minutes and it's frying up nicely here with my garlic, my onions, my scallion. I'm going to add the tomato at the end. So on my other burner here guys, I have my pumpkin going. I'm going to go ahead and check on that. And as you see, my pumpkin is cooking nicely here guys. Everything is coming along real nice, guys. My doll is still boiling. You don't have a long, long time more. So my pumpkin is all melted here, guys. Just need like another minute or so. so I'm going to let that continue to fry. And over here, my spinach is frying nicely, guys. So I'm going to give it a toss. It's just frying up real nicely, guys. Real nicely. So my entire dish, guys, is less than half an hour. And I have my doll. I went ahead earlier today and I made rice. So we're going to have this with doll, rice, pumpkin, spinach, perilla, and okra. 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to check on my spinach here, which is almost done. Everything is cooked nicely here guys. This only need like a couple of seconds more. Also gonna go ahead and check on my pumpkin. And to my pumpkin here, guys, I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna add some tomatoes and some scallion. I'm going to give this a toss. And my pumpkin, guys, is completely finished here. I'm going to give it another minute and then I'll go ahead and take it off. I'm going to add my tomatoes guys. The steam is going to cook my tomatoes. So there you have it guys, my pumpkin is completely finished. So there you have it, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my spinach. Okay guys, so there you have the spinach, my fin spinach is completely finished here guys. So there you have my spinach here guys. So guys, so there you have it, my spinach, my pumpkin, my okra, and my corella guys. A complete dish to go and in my pot here, I have my doll which is boiling away here, almost finished. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to chunk it up in about a minute or so. But there you have it, my pumpkin, my spinach. my corella and my okra there you have it guys so I have four vegetables here that I went ahead and I cooked to go with my doll and my rice guys okay so I'm gonna check on my doll here now guys and my doll is completely finished guys if you look at it it's totally melted see that totally melted what you could do you could take your whisk and you could go ahead and just whisk it a little for about a minute or so but I don't really have to do that because my doll is pretty much melted so my doll is completely finished here guys so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and put it on the next burner and I'm going to show you how to chunk it a doll now okay guys so I'm going to cover my doll and I'm going to put it on the next burner Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to chunk my doll in my pot here. I have two tablespoon, um, one tablespoon of oil, three flakes of garlic and some a tablespoon of cumin that I have there. And the cumin is this guy, some of us know it as jira. So I'm going to go and let that parch into the oil. And when it's completely parched, guys, and I'm gonna go ahead and chunk in my doll with that. Okay, my garlic and my jira is parching here. It's gonna take about two to three minutes to parch. 
And this is what brings your doll together, guys. This is the best part of the doll. When you chunk it a doll, this is what brings the doll together. This is what makes it very flavorful and tasty. So I'm going to let that parch a little. Okay, guys, I'm going to check on my jeer here. I just need a little bit more. want it to parch nicely. Okay, my jeer is almost finished parching here, guys. So now that my jeera is completely parched in, what I'm going to do now, I am going to go ahead and chunk in my doll. What you're going to do is to open your pot and add everything to the bowl here, guys. There you go, guys. Make sure you get all of it there. And that's how you chunk in your doll, guys. So you're going to give it a toss. And there you have it guys, your doll is completely finished now. Okay, so I'm going to move it back to this burner so I could show you. So there you have it guys, the doll is chunked and it's completely finished. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plate, plate it for you and show you how we eat it guys, okay? So you have here your vegetables with your doll and your rice, guys. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plate it now. So in my plate here, guys, I have my rice that I went ahead and I cooked earlier today. So I am going to add my doll right here to my rice. Just like that, guys. And now I'm going to add my vegetables. which I have my corailo, my pumpkin, my spinach, and my okra. Okay guys, so there you have it, my doll rice with my spinach, my pumpkin, my okra, and my corilla guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoy watching me making this video guys, I hope you enjoy watching me cooking. Um, if you like what I cooked today guys, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please like and share my videos, thank you for all the comments and feedback, and thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. And who have not yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so. I will very much appreciate it, guys. So there you have it, guys. My doll, rice, with my vegetable, pumpkin, spinach, okra, and corilla, guys. Okay? Thank you for watching.